Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk about uh, one of the biggest upgrades that you can do for your slash, and that's choosing the right tire. So depending on how you're driving your slash, if you're driving on road, off road, or at the track, uh, choosing the right tire can make the biggest, or one of the biggest, performance gains uh, that you'll notice on your vehicle. So we'll go over first uh, the stock. Uh, Traxxas tire what that's good for and then we'll break down on-road off-road and then track recommendations for you, too So this is the standard uh, Traxxas uh, Tire that comes with your slash uh, they come in different wheel colors, but the tread pattern uh, here is the same and This is pretty much designed as an on-road style tire uh, It's a good all-around tire, but I would say it's probably best at driving on-road um, it does have a directional uh, tread pattern, so you want to be sure to line that up uh, correctly when your, your tires are, are on. Uh, but these will handle pretty well on the road. Uh, these will do okay off-road as well. And these are uh, serviceable at the track, but uh, not really ideal for that either. So uh, these are a pretty, pretty decent all-around tire. You can pretty much run these anywhere. Uh, when you first get your slash and have fun with it. Uh, so I think it's a pretty decent uh, choice you know, that Traxxas made. But again, as you get into determining what you like to drive on best, you're going to want to uh, get a specialized tire for that. So again, the Traxxas style, good all around uh, average tire. Uh, it's better on the pavement or on the road uh, than other, other areas. But if we talk about on-road driving uh, next, you'll see here I have a, a pair of the Proline uh, Trenchers. So these are the same uh, class size, you would say, as the standard stock Traxxas ones. But you can already see the Proline ones are much beefier. So. If you consider they're like a little wider, it's kind of hard to see from this angle, but they're a little taller on the tread pattern as well. So just an all around beefier design. Uh, and you'll see too, the Proline uh, trenchers, they have like this, um, like kind of horizontal uh, tread pattern too. So these are great uh, for gripping on the road. Uh, pretty aggressive uh, tread that you have there too. So these will give you excellent grip compared to the stock Traxxas ones. One of the biggest things you'll notice from switching from the trenchers uh, from the stock ones is that your Slash VXL 3S will immediately start doing wheelies uh, with these tires. So you floor it with these ones, um, you'll get a lot of wheel spinning in the back. You may even do like little burnouts or have skin marks uh, from, from launching. The front end might come up a little bit. You can't really reliably do wheelies with these these guys you can pop it up all the time so kind of gives you an idea of the difference in the traction these grip uh, very well on the road these you can use off-road too these are pretty much just like a better version of the stock ones uh, for all around use um, there's going to be better options if you're strictly off-road but i chose these because i do like driving on road and I wanted a good all around tire upgrade. So this was the first tire that I purchased and I've been really happy uh, with the Proline Trenchers so far. Now when we talk about uh, choosing an off-road tire, Proline also makes what's called the Badlands. I don't actually own a set of these, um, so I'll post a picture of what those look like for you. But you'll notice on the Proline Badlands, they have these really kind of random looking aggressive uh, knobs that stick out of the, the tire tread. So instead of like your standard vertical kind of road pattern, or I'm sorry, horizontal uh, pattern, these are kind of more like random knobs. And those knobs are really good at like digging into dirt and gripping on uh, for your vehicle. So the Badlands are excellent uh, if you're gonna be driving off-road conditions. Uh, have a buddy of mine that runs those and he really loves them. I've tried them once on my car uh, and really like them too. The difference mainly between the Proline Trenchers and the Proline Badlands 
because you'll probably see these two tires recommended the most as your first tire upgrade. As the Proline Trenchers are going to perform a little bit better for you on road, and the Proline Badlands are going to perform better for you off road. So that's kind of uh, where you want to make your preference if you drive more on road or off road. You can select one of those. The, I tried the Proline Badlands on road uh, with my Slash VXL 3S setup, and I wasn't able to reliably do wheelies uh, with it. So I was able to get the front up a little bit more, it handled well, but again, I'm kind of using that as a baseline of, of traction here. Um, that's why I kind of went with the Proline Trenchers because I, I do drive on road more often. Um, but the Badlands are great off road. Um, I have a lot of people that, that really like using those. So we talk about on, off road a little bit more. Uh, these are a, a set of tires I got for fun. Um, these were the Proline Trenchers, the 2.8 uh, size. So these are designed uh, for like the Stampede, the monster truck kind of style um, cars. And but what's nice about these is they do have the 12 millimeter uh, hex adapter. So these will fit on your stock 12 millimeter hex hubs for your slash. So you can throw a pair of these on. You always have to pair it with the right body and body height so you don't get tired. Uh, rubbing there. I actually did a video where I put these on a Monster Fusion uh, body and it looked really cool. So I'll post a link to that video so you can kind of see what those tires uh, can make your slash look like. These are more kind of a style choice, uh, but these do grip really well off road. Um, you can kind of see like the, the tread is really aggressive on these. So these do grip in uh, really well. I even tried these tires at the track and they worked great um, on dry conditions and what's nice too is these have like a lot of um, uh, foam or like squishiness to them so it, it really kind of gives your car a different ride because these kind of almost act as like a suspension you know when you're when you're driving it supports your shocks uh, so these are really fun to try if you're looking for something different to do with your slash or if you want to try something a little different off-road uh, they do make, uh, Proline does make this size in the Badlands as well. So that would be a really cool option if you weren't at an off-road tire. I got these in the trencher pattern uh, just because I really do like that, have good success with that. But that's an option for you for off-road. Uh, I'll also post a picture here too of what's called the paddle tires. So if you're interested at all in doing like the hydroplaning, over water or ponds, you'll need a pair of those uh, paddle tires. So if you see videos on that, um, that's what those guys are, are using to kind of get it to just skim across the top of the water. So if you're interested at all in that, you need a special set of tires. So I'll leave a link for you in the description in case you're interested in those. Just a word, you know, kind of caution if we're talking about driving in water. Um, typically these tires will have uh, little holes along the inside if you can kind of see it in there this is on the pro lines um, and that kind of lets air kind of squish in and out you know and on the Traxxas ones you'll kind of notice uh, there's like a little hole right there if you're going to be driving in really wet conditions or you know if you're going to be going through water you want to make sure to just kind of tape up those holes uh, real quick before you do and that will prevent water from getting inside your tires water gets inside your tires um, can sometimes have trouble getting out and so you can lead to kind of like deterioration or rotting of the materials inside if that sits in there it kind of lead to unbalances in your tires so just a kind of a word of warning if you're going to be driving through wet conditions or submerging your slash which I don't really recommend for me just because of the maintenance you know uh, of doing something like that um, watch your tires. If you do get water in your tires, no big deal. You can actually just drill a little hole uh, through the tread and uh, just run your tires and it'll spin the water out. That's uh, not going to hurt your tires at all to do that. But it'll hurt your tires if you leave water um, in them. You know, your, these kind of tires are a pretty decent investment for your slash. Typically they run $35 for a set of two. So about $70 in tires for a whole set. You want to kind of keep those in good shape. 
as best as you can. Now, when we talk about running at the track, I'm no expert on this personally, uh, but you do need a specialized tire for running at the track. So I started running at the track just like a couple weeks ago. I found a local one and I really have had a lot of fun, you know, trying to get better at driving on the track. But the first thing I had to do was get a set of track tires. So this is my current uh, track setup. This is actually on my personal slash, so it has a little bit different setup than the VXL uh, 3S system that you've been seeing. But you'll notice the tires have these really thin, uh, kind of what they call like needle pin patterns. So on the front here, I have the Proline uh, calipers. Uh, these are really great tires. One of the first things I noticed is that they have a very deep like hex adapter uh, to go on your hex hubs. Almost like the standard Traxxas one, your hex hub doesn't really fully fit in there. It fits maybe halfway in and halfway sticks out. The Proline calipers pretty much go over the entire hex hub, which is nice. Uh, kind of keeps stuff from getting in there and keeps them on tighter. But they have like this little triangular kind of like three, three pin uh, tread on them. And I've heard overall that the Proline calipers are one of the best all around choices uh, for you for the track. You're going to notice if you start doing research on track racing or track driving, some of the guys that are really serious about this will have several sets of tires on hand and they'll interchange them depending on the track conditions, if it's wet, dry, you know, what the top layer of the track looks like, if it's packed down or if it's loose. So you can really get into a lot of, you know, debate and details on what track tire to use. This is if you're just kind of going out there for fun, you know, you maybe want to get into competitive in the future. Uh, personally, I think the Proline calipers are a good choice. Another good option I saw recommended a lot, and you'll see on this car, I actually have two, two different tires. In the rear, I have what's called the AKA Enduros. And the Enduros, you kind of see have like these medium sized like uh, knobs that come out uh, off of them. Not really as aggressive as the multiple needle points on the calipers, um, but just kind of more of like a simple approach. And so I put these on the rear um, just to kind of try uh, to see, you know, the difference, um, to kind of get an idea of what to use. And the, the theory, or my reasoning behind it is, the track that I run on sometimes uh, is wet. And I've heard that the Proline calipers can kind of get packed in with dirt. That's one of the first things you'll notice if you're running your Traxxas tire, even running these guys. Uh, in dry conditions, they'll work pretty well. Can make it around the track um, just for fun but if it gets wet these grooves can get packed in with the clay dirt and you'll actually start to notice that you'll be looking at your car after a couple laps if it's wet and your tires will be like bright orange around the rims because the clay is just packed into them and then at a certain point you actually just lose all the traction of your tire because it's just it's like a bald tire just packed with dirt. So that's kind of the advantage of these like little needle points is that they don't pack as easily and they can kind of always give you good grip uh, into the surface. But I have heard, like I said, that the Proline calibers, because you can kind of see how, how many needle points there are, that those can pack a little bit easier than these Enduros. So I put the Enduros on the back just to kind of give me you know, more consistent uh, power delivery. And then the Proline calipers give me a little bit more grip in the front for turning. So that was my reasoning behind it. But again, I think either of these tires are gonna be a great choice for you. The AK Enduros are a little bit cheaper than the Proline calipers, but I know the Proline calipers are highly recommended. I got a couple of buddies that use them that really like them, just as an all around good track tire. And so that's just a couple uh, recommendations for you, depending on how you're going to be uh, looking forward to running your slash. <clears throat> As I said, there's a ton of good options out there for you, depending on how you're going to use your slash. The only recommendation that I will make is that choosing the right tire 
will have a huge performance advantage on your slash. So do some research, determine how you're going to drive your slash the most, if it's on road, off road. When it comes to track racing, there's so many variables, uh, but kind of narrow down what your track is, see what other people are using, what they've had good success for. You can even talk to guys at your track to see what they're running and then make the right tire choice and then you'll have so much fun with your slash once you get the right tires on it it'll perform completely differently than what you might have been used to with just the stock uh, stock tires like i said the biggest thing for me able to pop wheelies on my slash you know if i wanted to with these trenchers it was really cool um <clears throat> and then being able to have taken these tires out uh, about two times at the track being able to grip around the track surface and you know throw dirt in the rear if I wanted to around was really fun. I cleaned these off a little bit, but pretty much after a track session, they weren't even packed at all. So these tires, both of these options, worked really good for me. So I hope this video is helpful. Certainly, if you got any questions, uh, leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. But hopefully, this uh, gave you some insight into choosing the right tire uh, for your slash. Mm -hmm.